Welcome back, guys. It's time for the rebirth of Biggleswade. It's time to get it back to its former glory as as kind of, to be honest, kind of the capital city of this um, of this f fictional world. So what do we what do we need to do? I have been doing some work and um, and sorting some stuff some stuff out. I've hooked up the, these tracks. I've just hooked them up for now, and I've put in all the signalling and whatever, and I've sorted out the um, the tracks. Over at uh, over at Biggles Wade. Well, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click on these so that you can actually see them. Um, so we the trains will run now, but before I actually get the trains running, um, there are a few few things that we still need to do. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do kind of the big changes, and then we'll worry about the small change. I'll I'll, I'll do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of get it get it done basically because I want to get on and, and do other things so the first thing we need a tram station and I wanted to use the big tram station and the big tram station is big it's this one it's freaking huge I mean seriously it's monster uh, if you compare this to, to like like this one right this one's tiny compared to this freaking thing it's enormous and I was I was I, I almost decided against using it because it's so damn big and I was like, yeah, it, it kind of doesn't fit and whatever. But then I thought, you know what, actually, I could kind of use this. If I if I put it like over here, then like get rid of this road and put it over here, I can use this as a buffer to stop roads and buildings building up into this area, which would be kind of nice. And it will give us, I think, uh, a nice embankment up there. So that's what we're going to do. So, boom. All right, cool. You know, I think that's, I think that's going to look all right. I think that's going to look quite nice. I'm kind of tempted to, to slope this down and smooth this off, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. I just leave it as it is. And then, I don't know, maybe we just put some trees up here or something. Might be quite nice, that. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so um, what I, all I want to do now is uh, play around with this track a little bit because... We've got this, which, which, which like really drops down here. And I want to use this line here to, to kind of shape the city a little bit. The city's going to move uh, like a little bit this way. So, because we've, we've got the industrial stuff over here. If I turn, the, turn this on. We've got the industrial stuff over here. Great. And then we've got commercial and residential kind of mixed up over here. I want this, the commercial center of the town to be over here. That's kind of the plan. And I'm looking at this now and thinking, it, 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 would, it would be really nice to have that like more in the center and have that as kind of the center of the town or whatever. But but I think we'll I think we'll live with it as it so, is. So let's see. Intercity buses is this one. ICB. Intercity bus lines. Intercontinental ballistic buses. Where so this um, did go into Wellington North, wherever the hell that was. Uh, let's bring up these. Okay, so used to go into uh, Wellington Central Bus Station. Uh, so you're not going to go into there anymore. You're now going to go into. Oh yeah, it is buses as well. I, I assumed it would be, but it is called a tram station. It, let's get rid of Biggleswade Central Bus Station. All right, so that's cool. So that comes, so that comes in here, and then just kick them straight back out. So that just goes down to, it just goes down to here. Really? Did I, did I not hook it up to like the other, the other cities? Okay, well we freaking need to do that. Definitely need to do that. How many, how many terminals have we got in here? Eight, okay, it's not too bad. Um, all the other tram lines have got no trams on. Uh, we've also got to, I've also got to hook up the, the general goods lines, um, oh, which have now all disappeared apparently. Oh, here we go. Uh, gen, uh, because by general, general two, general three, and general four, because um, they're not hooked up at the moment because we've got rid of all the, all the stops. So I need to route those in. Uh, again, I'll do that while the city's building. Uh, so that's done. What else do I need to do? Do you want, okay, uh, I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, if I go to here, 
I've got some things like this drop-off point, a cargo delivery point for trucks to drop off freight. Now, we're going to want, obviously, if this, if this is, it, well, come back. If this is going to be like our commercial center over here, then we're definitely going to want freight being dropped off over here. So, like, um, I don't know, like, just, like, just to put it in. Right? So if we put it in there, do we get, yeah, it just, it literally just puts that in, which is, you know, I mean, it's okay, I suppose. But, and I might use, I might use that somewhere because it's kind of nice seeing the, seeing the, the freight there. But I've got another one. I've got different varieties of that, different drop-off points um, with unloading zones and stuff like this. But but it doesn't change the, the sidewalks at all. And I want something that actually changes the sidewalks. Uh, so, let's see. If I go to the actual freight ones, how have I got? I, you know, I don't even know if I loaded the blooming thing up. <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I did. But... Um, I've got so freaking many. No, I don't think, I don't think it's here. So either I haven't activated it, but there's, there's one that actually will, is, is it, no, no, it's not these, that will, will, that will actually like create an indentation um, so that the, the trucks can actually pull into the side. Uh, if I try, this is a 24 meter one. Nah, nah, doesn't do it. Anyway, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that mod. There are lo loads more cities where I can use that mod. But it's a shame, because it, it is quite cool having the, the little indentations. You, you can do the same for the buses as well, which is kind of cool. All right, I am going to get on and uh, and start building this or whatever. And I think the best thing to do, for me to do is just kind of build it. I might show you, like, a, a few little bits of it. If there's anything kind of kind of sort of important, but other than that, I'm just going to let the darn thing build. I'm going to train it and force the um, the different RCI, the the industrial and commercial, to do what I want, and I'll probably train the roads a little bit and and just get everything working. So so just l let me get on with it. Okay, we're all done, ready to kick it off. And uh, uh, man, I I really like how it's turned out. I'm really pleased with how these tracks have turned out. What I've done, um, I just I just took it back a little bit further, so that so that they open up a little bit sooner. And these curves are just like way better now. It's it, I don't know they just look so much better, and they they mirror these roads much better now as well. And I I really like how Biggleswade looks. It's kind of awesome. And I've also, you can see here, now this was all bridge and the bridge was quite high. I've dropped it down and, and, and then raised the ground up a little bit to meet it. And I tell you what, from here, the terrain looks so much better now. The terrain looks natural now. It looked blooming awful before. I've actually spent a, a bit of time like leveling off these roads around here because they weren't quite level with the, with the airport. So, yeah, I've, I've spent quite a bit of time going around um, smoothing and like trying to level and whatever. But at the same time, trying to keep it interesting. I did have a, I did have a couple of people saying um, that, oh, you've, you've taken all the character out of Biggleswade because it, it's too flat now. But I tell you what, like, don't think that it, this is flat because it's not. Look, I mean, look at these big terrain change, uh, height changes. Um, you come over to Biggleswade Hill. This is not flat, right? It's a lot flatter than it was, but it like it is not flat. There's some. I've just put in. A, I've put in a, a, a couple of extra roads, and this is what I haven't actually flattened this one, and it, and it does need to be flattened. But you can see, you put a road in, and suddenly you see, oh crap! That yeah, there, that there is quite a lot of height change involved. And up here, that's actually. I mean, you can see by what it does to the to the roads, right? That's, I mean, you can't call that flat down there. Oh no. But it's just a lot more reasonable now. It looks so much better. Uh, let's get that up to high, that'll be better. Uh, what else have I done? Um, I've just, what I've just been doing, 
I've just been putting in some fences. Let's just finish that off. Oh, this is so much better now. I mean, it's still it's still a nice hill. There's there's still terrain changes. Oh hell yeah, but it's just so much nicer all the way up to the top of Biggles Wade Hill. Beautiful. And then we've got this nasty bit of road there, <laughs> but it is what it is. And um, yeah, when I upgraded this, it moved the freaking pillars. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably spend a couple of hours on it later. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was putting in some fences. Now, what I've done, where, uh, where so over here, I've put in curb stones, uh, visible curb stones all along here, because I think they actually look all right. They're, it's, a, it's a little bit, you know, scruffy concrete and whatever, but that's that's the kind of thing that you see around the place. So we've got those all the way up here and also all the way along here, just in case it tries to build anything in there. I want that left. And I said I didn't want any roads going across here. So I've put a fence in all the way up here and we'll see if that stops roads going through. Um, it should, but we'll see. And, uh, and I've actually wrapped it all around here and then I've put fences um, along the sides of the tracks because I think it's a good idea to have uh, fences along the side of there. And then um, I've also put fences down here because I, I don't want any buildings going into these areas right in front of the, um, right in front of the station. So I've protected those. I've put a fence um, in here. I don't mind having some buildings along, along here that would kind of make sense to have some buildings along here and, and up here. But I'll keep an eye and see and see how it develops. As far as the, the, the lines, we've got, uh, I've only put one tram route in, which is just going from the station down to Biggleswade Airport. And it stops at both of these stations on the way. Um, I'm not showing you the stops because um, the, there's still all the old stops in. And it, it's, it's too confusing, so I'll show it to you after. Um, so, oh, let's turn that off. Can't go away, there we go. So we've got that in, and then what I've done with, um, with the general, general two, three and four. Three and four are dropping off, I, well, I'll, let me show you this. I guess I'll show, show you now. Are dropping off, uh, so four is dropping off to big industry one, and this is, these are those, um, those dropping off points. These are 12 meter drop off points. And then, um, so we've got one, one over there and one over there. That's to stimulate the industry in this area, the yellow industry. And then I've got two, again, these, um, these 12 meter uh, unloading zones. Um, so that we can try and stimulate the uh, the commerce in this area, and I've put in those waypoints and whatever to get this uh, this route the way it is, and I've put in uh, uh, bus lanes along the roads that these uh, the, the trucks are using, so that they they should hopefully whiz round nice and fast. That's um, so that's what I've done, and like that, just doing just doing that. That's I've just been well, I don't know two. Two, almost two and a half hours just playing around with that. So um, I wanted to just show you kicking it off. So let's kick it off, and off it goes. We've got some, we've got some trams coming out here, which I've painted yellow. There they go, whizzing off. Those are the airport trams. That's our look. We're going to get some, we're going to get some growth. We've got all kinds of trains flying around. We've got all kinds of trucks flying around. Um, we may well have too many trucks now, but we'll, we'll just, I'll just let them sort themselves out and we'll kind of see what happens. Right, uh, oh yes, lovely. We're getting lots of nice residential growing around here. It's, it's building roads because I've put these these tracks on at ground level now, it can't build roads underneath them, which it was doing before. So now we'll keep Biggleswey within this area, um, which is which is going to be really really nice. I'm going to get rid of these now. I think let's get rid of those. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. So it's yeah, it's just going to be a case of watch it 
like building all the roads and look at it go. But we don't want the uh, the residential in here. And we don't want the commercial going like too far out. So I don't mind it going on this road round here. So on the edge of this road and then filling in here. But I don't want it going out this way. So I'll be trimming those back. And the same here. I don't I don't want it going out this far. So I'll try and push it in. But it will like try and come out here. So it's just a case of being like fairly persistent. Um, we can get rid of that. I don't want residential in this close. So again, we'll trim this back. This is the, all of this. All of this area around here is going to be commercial. So get out! Stop it! And then, And that one, I mean, I don't really mind too much. Now, it, it, the game is very persistent about trying to build in certain areas. So if you've knocked it down two or three times, the best thing to do is let it build it. Right, if it keeps building it in the same place, let it build it. Then let it build the next set. So I'm hoping that the next set that goes in, well, see, it's, all, it's already doing it. It's moving that way. Um, then you can go back and take these out and and often it then like a lot of the time it will do the same thing but sometimes it'll change and it'll do something else so that's how I kind of try and and stimulate the growth it's, it's thrown all this in again now what I can do is I can I can physically stop it from building here by um, by putting like train tracks or something in uh, along the edges of these roads to stop it doing it but like right now it's fine. I'm just gonna just gonna let it carry on, really, and uh, and we'll see what happens. Now, um, yeah, I, th I think I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing for a bit. I might put in a bit more public transport uh, to to help stimulate. Um, I'm, am I gonna? Yeah, I think I probably I think I probably am. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put buses or trams or whatever in. But, but yeah, but we're already heading in the right direction. Um, I do want to keep pushing the residential out, and, and <laughs> it's very persistent. I want to keep pushing the residential out and encourage the commercial into the centre. So let's get rid of all of that and then knock this down again. Try and encourage it. But you can see it it wants to do certain things. And all you can do is just like keep doing it. And it takes freaking ages if you're thinking of doing this yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna let it carry on now and we'll come back when we've uh, when we've got like a lot more. Well it's it's not it hasn't taken very long to get it to do what I want it to do. Look! It's it's behaving beautifully. We're getting all of the commercial in the center here and then we're getting a, a beautiful ring around the outside of all of this stuff um, you know what I should probably stop it from building probably up to here around this area because um, we don't want to spoil that nice bit there let's put let's throw a fence in quick let's grab uh, what are you uh, uh, nah, is that what I want yeah, yeah. I can't remember where they are now. Yeah, here, here we go. So, throw a little. Um, am I going to do it? Yeah, go on. We'll, we'll, have a, we'll start it there. And then, well, oh go on. Go from there. If I start it like that, and then I should be able to put in a. Yeah, it's difficult to get the nice curves. Go and this. This should look pretty decent, actually. Nice, nice fence running around the outside. Um, let's just take it up to that there. I'd be happy with that. We'll see if that works. Um, it does seem to be working so far. 
Oh, no, it doesn't. It's, it's converting them into roads. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, so no, that doesn't work. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to go around and put in, uh, put in some, some more of these curb stones to stop it doing this. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, okay. Epic fail. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's let it carry on building. And a couple of hours later, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, yes. I have, um, I'll tell you the other things I've done, but I've just put a station in here. Uh, an extra station on the um, on the big air rail route because it only stops at the at the station and the airport and I thought you know what let's put a station in here because uh, there, there were there, there were uh, there were houses up to this point right but but I, it had been ages since anything more had built over here and as soon as I put this in houses built here so I'm, I think that's going to encourage them to, uh, to fill in this area, which is kind of the last area. So let me show you. Let me show you. This is how it is, and it's turned out absolutely awesome. We've got all the centre full of the commercial with some really nice big buildings right up by the station. This run up here is, is really impressive because we've got all these nice tall buildings. I'll turn that off. This is a very nice little run up here. Look at that. How cool is that? We'll, we'll have a ride on a, on a, on a tram up there. Um, what else? What else? Um, let's talk about lines. Let's talk about lines. So um, let's throw that up so you can see all the lines. So I've added it, well, you can see I've added in uh, a, like a few lines. We have got a couple of bus lines, line four and line five. Uh, if I, you know what, if I turn everything else off, then you would be able to see. So they come from, from the center here. If I turn on the stops as well, then you'll be able to see the routes very clearly. So uh, line four, comes out here, goes through the commercial district, and then comes out into the, the residential area, up by that station that I've just put in. And then along here, turns around and goes back again. The other one comes round this side of the residential, but it goes through the commercial. And of course, they're both by the, um, by the station. So th those are pretty good routes. They're working out pretty well. Um, actually, I tell you, I haven't looked at like, Finances. No, not that the finances bother me with these. Um, I suppose the first thing that we should have, I should have shown you is the current state of play. Look at this: seventy-one percent using public transportation. Excellent. We're over over three thousand one hundred on the shopping facilities. Two thousand seven hundred on the jobs. Two thousand eight hundred coming up on three thousand population. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, so we've got that going in. Um, I've got another tram line. So we've got the, the, the Biggleswade tram line, which just goes straight down from the from the station, straight down there. Um, and it stops on the way. Uh, but I've got another one over here, line three, which goes all over the place. The idea of this is to link together the residential the commercial and the industrial, so people can like get to wherever they need to get to. Uh, let's get rid of that. So uh, from from the the tram station, it goes uh, all round through the residential area, and then it kind of clips the commercial on this side. I'll just show you. Just kind of clips the commercial on this side. Goes through all the industrial so people can get to work and then it comes back through the commercial so people can get to here and that's within walking the distance of the of the station obviously and then it comes back round and then it goes back round again so so yeah that allows them to get around pretty well and yeah and we're over 70% and I'm certainly not going to complain about that all right so 
That's done. Um, so no, uh, I could be just because my frame rate is a is a little bit on the low side. I've been running this for oh I don't know five or six hours now. So um, so what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll let the I'll let this carry on and and fill in a bit, and then I'll do a reboot, and then we'll have a bit of a ride on um, I don't know on a on a, on a bus and a tram and whatever, and maybe maybe on the on the big rail. The, the big air rail. That might be kind of fun. All right, let me uh, let me get it finished. Be back in a tick. Right, it's done. We're all done. I've just rebooted as well. And look, now I'm like up around 30 frames per second. Excellent. <laughs> Did you see that plane just flew through that building? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Oh dear. Um. Okay. First of all, like. Just look at it. I mean, I love the street layout. The street layout has worked beautifully. I have done, um, I have done like a bit of tree decorating around the place just to try and like tidy things up and make it look a bit nicer. Um, I also I put this tunnel in here, which goes through like under the hill here, goes through over to this side, but. I am, I've got to say, I am kind of wondering if we actually need this road here. And I don't think we do. And and getting rid of that would actually smooth smooth this road out, like, quite a lot. So, I've got to say, I'm pretty tempted to do that. I, I think that's going to happen at some point. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm pretty sure at some point. Oh, hello, plane taking off. Up on your holidays, yeah. There they go. Um, now this bit over here, I've I've been kind of umming and ahhing about this because it's it's like it's a bit bare and we got we just got the railway track. But then I thought, hang on a second, what about if we upgrade this and add? Let's see, um, bum, 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 bum. mastery connection. Yeah, that's the right one. And a and Am I going to add all three? Yeah, I think I probably am. Yeah, let's do that. Apply that. What we can do is grab, uh, I mean, just a, just a, an ordinary straight, medium straight would do. And hooked out of there. Hooked out of there. Then this out. I need to hook up to that terrain alignment collision. Are you mad? What's the matter with you? Let's bring it out kind of like that then. Oh, you know what? It's because <laughs> it's because I've got these things blocking. Stop it! Because it, it it's been trying to build stuff all over the place, all up here, all up here. Um, all around the airport terminal, I've had to put those curb stones in to stop it building. Oh my god, it's been... It's wanted to build everywhere other than where I want it to build, basically. Uh, come out straight. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that I can live with. Quite like that. Well, bang that in. Have a little bit of a... bit of a quick smooth. Go on, go down. Oh, put it on high. Bang it. Here we go. Can, can you tell that I'm kind of quite like excited and into this, <laughs> like in a big way? Uh, I'm not going to do like too much with this right now, but just so that you just so that you get the idea. And yeah, so what I was thinking was, if we do that, right, so that we can we can get like a few houses, like on this side. Um, so, maybe if we just run this, that's not what I want. Something more like that. Let's, let me bring that up a bit. Yeah, like that. And then, that. 
And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna join it up or anything. I'm just gonna run it kind of down there a bit. And then maybe just like hook it up to here or something. And that's and that's gonna be it really. Oof, don't like that though. Oh dear. Um come on, you you're flattish. That'll do. Uh, no, this isn't flat. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I'll probably have to run this out a little bit further. To make it look half decent. And let's take you... Uh, yeah, let's take you... Uh, no, there. That'll do. Right, again. Quick flatten. Very quick flatten this time. Very quick. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it quick, do it quick. Because we've got limited time. So, what I'm hoping is that we'll get um, we'll get a few residential buildings building around here, and then, and now it doesn't look so so bare. And then, by the time that I've I've like decorate this and put some bushes and trees and whatever around the place. I think it should look all right. Okay, so um, where should we start? Let's start over here. Look at this. Oh, you know what? That's dropped a bit. This was up to um, 31.50. Jobs, 3,100. But even, even at 30.12, if we have a look at this, population, top by a good way. I think we've just had a bit of a death wave. Because um, the last time I looked at Sedberg, it was over 2,800. Yeah, this was. This has been up to, this is a bit, this is, I think the, the highest I've seen it is about 31, 3170, something like that. Shopping facilities, who's top for shopping? Biggles Wade, who's top for jobs? Wellington, and then Biggles Wade, number two. Freaking awesome! By the way, somebody said, um, "Can we have a look at? Can we have a look at Wellington?" Yeah, well, let me pop down. I'll we'll have a quick look. I'll tell you what, it looks freaking sweet. Wellington does now. Look at Wellington. It's awesome. I, I love it now that we've just got a few houses over here, a few restaurants and whatever. Looking very nice, looking very nice indeed. Let's get back over here. So, uh, let's have a look at the layout. And as you can see, we've got one or two little rogues who've sneaked off. But generally speaking, we've got it consolidated. We've got all the residential all around the outside looking awesome. All the industrial over there. And like seriously, don't tell well, don't tell me Biggles Wade doesn't have character because I think it's got tons of character. Look, I like the whole layout of the place. I love, right? We've still got the great big hill on that side, right? We've still got the hill over here. And if we go like go if we go over here, you'll see that the hill is still here. You come along here and then you start to go up and then you go up some more. But now the roads look reasonable. They don't look horrendous. Like all the roads are, are fairly decent. There's still one or two little janky bits, but I mean that's gonna happen because I'm I'm letting the, the game build the roads. I've colour coded all the buses by the way. All the buses are different colours. So yeah, you've still got you've still got the um, the hills and the ups and downs and whatever as you run around. We, yeah, we weren't even at the, the highest point because we're going to go over here, go go up the hill over here. And this is pretty steep to get up to the top of the hill. We go up here and then up here. And then this is the bridge that we put in last time. The, the big, really awesome bridge that was before I messed around with it. 
tell you what, it's a great place to watch the trains from up on this, up on this bridge. stand on the edge of this bridge, you can, you can watch all the trains coming in and going out, all the passenger trains going out there, it's gorgeous isn't it? Right, shall we have a quick bit of a ride on some stuff? Um, let's jump on, that's nice, oh I, I should tell you about this, I have extended the intercontinental ballistic buses so that now, instead of just going from um, Wellington to Biggleswade, they now also go to Ashby and to Chudley. So, that's that. Uh, what else? What else have I done? Oh, I put in another bus line um, over on this side. Yeah, probably, yeah, line six. So, line six, the idea behind line six um, was just to connect this uh, like residential through the commercial over to all of the um, industrial over here and also to hook up with the with the station over here and if I switch the those on actually let's let's switch that on as well so you can actually see so there's there's like, there's, a, there's plenty of stops on this line I mean there's like 20 22 stops on this line uh, and are we picking up people? Yes, we are. Doing about seven, between six and eight, between six and eight hundred people. Probably losing a lot of money, yeah. But, like, who cares about that with the buses? Um, if we do have a look at this, we're 72. The highest I've seen that is 76. It seems to bounce up and down. It's been bouncing up and down between, like, se about 72 and 76. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's all good. Yeah, we've definitely got a bit of a death wave going on. That... That will, if I, if I just let it run for a while, this will get back up to like 30, 31, 3200. So, that's that. Um, part of the death wave is where it's, it's, where it's rebuilding buildings. Like these buildings over here are being rebuilt. And, and this. And when it rebuilds them, obviously the population drops, till the people move in and then goes back up. So, um, I think we're actually going through a fairly big rebuilding phase. Maybe, maybe that's what's doing it. Another building site over there. Right, let's go down here. Let's jump on board. Here we go. This is what we want. Let's jump on a tram. First person, biggest city. Oops. Oh. And we're staying over 20. God, I can't wait to get a new PC with a much, much beefier CPU. Because I'm on an old, what is it, an old Haswell, uh, a, a 4790 CPU. Uh, and what I'm waiting, the only thing I'm waiting for is for the, the new ninth generation chips to come out from Intel. Because uh, that's what I think I'm going to get. I want to I wanna see what the benchmarks and whatever are like. But that's most likely what I'm going to get. Graphics card, I've got a 1080 at the moment. And I think I'm probably going to stick with that for a little while. I might upgrade to a, a 1080 Ti. Um, or there is the possibility of going to the, one of the new RTX cards. Uh, but again, I want to see the, the benchmarks on that before I, before I decide exactly which route I'm going to go. I love this... Just this long street up to the station. It's awesome. I might just crank it up because we are pushed for time. Uh, Biggles Wade has, uh, has tons of character now. The whole, the whole layout of the city the station and of course we're going to hang a right here we've got the train station and we're going to go inside the awesome bus and tram depot but well, not station and we go around the back here loads of people using this station we 
go down to the end, turn around, crashing into loads of pillars apparently, and then we pull in, and all the passengers go up and down these these stairs to come, they don't, they don't walk across here, let me show you. So you can see they're all they're all wandering across. So you've got the entrance over here. So they come into the, the, the station and they all go up onto the roof. And then you've got a series of stairs leading down to each of the uh, each of the platforms. Loads of people waiting here. We've got 141 people waiting to go to. That's Chudley, Highfield Road. That's Chudley. We've got a hundred waiting to go to Ashby. Awesome. Alrighty. So that's the. And I've got to say, I think that is a success. I'm loving that. And I think this station was a was a good idea as well. Let's turn. Let's turn these on. I think the station was a good idea. And I've just I've just kept this fenced off, and just put a few trees in. And I really like that really like that. Uh, what else? Let's have a quick ride on the big air rail. Because this is this is a nice quick run and it gives us kind of a different view. Because we're elevated And it's single track, which is which is unique. We, this is the only single track piece on the whole map, I think. I'm pretty sure. I need to take out one or two trees. I mean, there's still a lot to do. I love the planes coming in low. And this, I think this, is this the first time that we've been into the station? I think it is. I think it is. So we come in on this side. And then we'll pick up some passengers. These these things are noisy. Pick up some passengers. Then a quick sprint along here into the tunnel. Which is all a bit it's all gone a bit messy. I have to try and smooth that out. It's very difficult though near the tunnel entrances. And then we've got some forest, can't really see very much. And then we come into this station, which is kind of the local residential station. Oh, there's the airport. And now, because we've got this station here, we kind of pull in and we can sit here and we're being really unlucky because oh there's a plane just coming into land i was hoping to have one take off while we were, while we were there and then we come around and we get to see all of the, the airport nice elevated bit now i can't wait for this to get hooked up to ashby that's got to be removed. But there's lots and lots of tidying at work to do. But that is sweet. Now, one thing I've noticed is that um, our airports are doing pretty well now. Um, and of course, when I looked at, the last time I looked at this, there was like 70 passengers waiting. Oh, there's 35 waiting here, which is a full, that's a full plane. Yeah, 38 is a full plane. And it's... Um, it's pretty busy down here most of the time. Big crowds of people walking backwards and forwards all the time. If I crank, if I crank it up. Yeah, there's this constant flow of people. And when a plane arrives, there's usually a, a big flood of people. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Big flood of people coming out. So our planes are still working well, which is really good news. Alrighty, you know what guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. Now, I, I'll, I'll ask you the question, um, 
because obviously th that was really quick and there's 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 plenty of routes that we haven't ridden or whatever do you want at the, at the beginning of like, like maybe the first half of the next video do you want to do some more rides around Biggles Wade or do you want to just get on with it and, uh, and and work on the line into the Chudley Valley through Chudley and up to Aspatria which is uh, which is the next thing we're going to do and like seriously if if you've got an opinion leave me a comment leave me a comment and say yeah or no <laughs> or yeah, do the Chili Valley or, or whatever. But like I personally, I would love to spend a bit more time like riding around. I, I wanna go kind of like up the hills and whatever. And and I wanna ride some of the other trains. Cause like, like we haven't been through like the main section. We've only been through this side. I wanna see what it's like when you go through the main section and stuff. And I wanna have a bit of a ride around this side and see what this looks like. So yeah, I mean, there is still like a lot to see over here. There is still also a hell of a lot to do. There's, there's lots of finishing off work to do. Obviously there's loads of field decorations and whatever, but I wanna do some sky candy over here and basically extend this factory, this, um, this chemical plant. Um, Cause we've got these, these buildings and um, I would imagine we've got these buildings as well. So yeah, I'd like to kind of extend the site all around here. Um, yeah, and then we'll, and then fields and, and whatever, and then and then Biggles Wade would be pretty much done. God, I love Biggles Wade. That like the whole place. I mean, I could look at this for hours. Well, I have been looking at it for hours, quite literally. But like everything, everything's great. Oh, the one thing I wanted to show you was the traffic. Let's have a look at the traffic. And the traffic is freaking awesome. These, um, these little red bits, if I crank this up, you'll see that these little red bits are transient. And basically it's when like a tram or a bus is, stop, is stopping. And like it, it'll get a couple of trucks or cars or whatever backed up behind it. And so it turns red. But as soon as it moves, it's gone. And you can see like the, it's just green. All right, guys, I, I wish that I had like another hour because I would love to just like look at every single thing, ride all the trucks, ride all the buses, do everything, but I can't. So if you want that, leave me a comment. I will catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.